Hey, how are you? And welcome back to another YouTube video. My name's Jacob Andrew Sharp, and gang, we've got a doozy for you. We've got a little sing-along doozy. These, uh, these nuggets, yeah, they're a bit musical. Is it good music? Define good. Define music. Songs of the summer. Hmm, I think I wrote the song of the summer. And here it is. I am rectangular. I feel it in my bones, I am rectangular, I feel no hole. A piece of art that was made for just one season, but ends up making a lifelong impression. Songs like School's Out by Alice Cooper, WAP by Cardi B. Those aren't the same songs. And who could forget Summer of 69 by Brian Adams. Dude, I Summer of 69, I love that song. A whole song about doing upside down mouth stuff during the hottest months of the year. Or at least that's what I think that song's about. But just to name a few summer classics, right? It feels like every year there's so many songs of the summer, there's so many bops and hits that seem to define our experience during that time. You know, one summer banger can hold so many important memories for you. You know, like that time you had your first kiss to Super Bass by Nicki Minaj, but you had like one and a half Palm Bays and you ended up puking in their mouth. Yeah, that's a shared experience we all have. What I'm trying to say is that the song of the summer can define an era. It can define a generation. But I think summer bangers and songs of the summer have gone too far. That's right. I think songs of the summer, they went mainstream. They went corporate, and I'm sick of it. Nice try, record labels, okay? I'm not gonna fall for your pop girl summer, or your brat summer, or your country boy bald guy summer. Aww. Brat summer? You want me to embrace my inner party girl and do a bunch of coke all summer and have a really nice time? What a bunch of corporate mumbo jumbo. I think it's time we have an independent artist summer, okay? I want something grassroots. I want something homegrown. I want real music from real artists. And I think I found it. I went to a place where real people make real music. And I don't know if you guys can tell by how many times I'm saying real, but I went to Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels, more like Instagram Reels, cause the, cause spelling. the spelling. But dude, I don't know if you guys have noticed, on Instagram Reels, it seems like there's a new song of the summer every day. But lucky for us, they're all good. I cannot be the only guy who thinks girls that take pictures of Polaroid cameras is the cutest thing ever. Like, She'll take Polaroid pictures of the places that we go And hangs them in a room where we watch all of our favorite shows ba ba da da ba 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 da da Let's lose track of time, baby Hop into your dad's Mercedes Drive into the sunset, baby Young and free just like the 80s Butterflies and purple daisies You know how to drive me crazy Life has been so good lately Since you came around, oh that's a tongue twister. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. I might be a bit of a bully in this video. Uh oh. Maybe the word good is up for interpretation. Maybe, maybe I should have said all of these songs are unique. I don't know what's going on with Instagram lately, but like this whole era of legendary algorithm polls, I don't know what happened to my algorithm, but that's, that's it. That's bit a of a tongue twister. twister. <laughs> That's it. I don't know why Instagram did that, but if you want to watch just like anyone's uncle talk, go to Instagram Reels. Just normal people posting weird videos to no one. And then Instagram decided, let's make them famous for a day. Bro just started listening to music two weeks ago. Whoa. <laughs> Man, sometimes the comments have the best jokes I've ever heard. He ain't wrong. That little snippet of that song, that gave me the same feeling you get when you see a guy in a guitar center pick up a guitar and start playing Sweet Child of Mine. I also kind of feel bad laughing. He was really excited to show us that, you know? He really means it. He loves when girls take a Polaroid picture. <laughs> I feel like the parent who doesn't have the heart to tell their toddler that their drawing sucks. Aw, kiddo. That, that sure was a song, huh? Nice, yeah. Yeah, that's going right up on the fridge. Guys, before we continue with today's video, I just wanted to mention today's sponsor, Love and Pies. Dude, I'm done with summer, okay? I'm done making plans, I'm done meeting new people, and I'm done 
going outside. For those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I don't like summer. And that's why I'm so obsessed with today's sponsor, Love and Pies. Love and Pies is a delightful mobile game that was made by the game developers, Trail Mix. And guys, they knocked it out of the park with this one. Genuinely, right now, I love canceling plans and I love sitting down in my house, making a coffee, lighting a candle and some incense, and I love sitting down and playing Love and Pies. Cause Love and Pies is so cute and cozy and it's the perfect game for just chilling out and taking some me time. Dude, I don't wanna put my love into summer anymore. I wanna put my love into some pies. I mean, not literally. You guys know what I mean. Love and Pies has such a simple and fun gameplay. The storyline is fun, but it's also mysterious and a little spicy. And Love and Pies has so many unique and diverse characters. In the game, you'll play as Amelia, who just moved to the countryside to live and work at her mother's bake shop. But uh-oh, someone burned down mom's bakery and mom's missing. So it's your job to rebuild and run the bakery while also trying to figure out what the heck happened to mom? And who burnt down the bakery? And you'll have a little extra help from your love interest, Joe. Looking into those eyes? Oh yeah, I'd let that guy paint my walls any day of the week. You could cut the tension between these two with a butter knife and then use that butter to make a bunch of pies. But you gotta look out for your competitor, Edwina. Because old Edwina might come in and throw a few wrenches in your operation. And you can personalize the bakery with furniture and decor that fits your style. You can earn different prizes and rewards that only makes the gameplay that much better. And gang, right now, Love and Pies and I wanted to do something extra special for my subscribers. Everyone that downloads Love and Pies using my link below and plays till day three in the game, they'll receive an absolutely amazing gift in the in-game in Box. So go click that link, go download Love and Pies, and you'll receive 200 energy and 50 gems. Dude, you guys will find out real quick how important those are for the gameplay. So gang, go click my link and download Love and Pies right now for free. And you'll get that super sweet surprise in your inbox now. Love and Pies is also available for iOS and Android. Guys, if you love decorating, if you love baked goods, if you like getting all cozed up in the middle of summer, go download Love and Pies right now. So guys, make sure you go click that link, scan the QR code, go check out Love and Pies, because when you support our sponsors, you also help support the channel. So thank you again, Love and Pies, and thank you as always for the nuggets. Alrighty, gang, let's get back to the video. But who am I to judge this guy, right? I, I'm not a musician. I don't make music. Sure, I played in bands most of my life, but I never released music. I was never brave enough to put my art out there like that. And he's not hurting anybody. So who am I to say what's good and what's bad? I wrote this song for my girl bestie. Check it out. Be my gal pal, be my gal pal. Wanna do stuff but platonic gas fuck now. Be my gal pal, be my gal pal. I don't wanna fuck, I just wanna drive around town. You just don't know. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe I do know a little bit. That's bad. I mean, not only is that song objectively bad, it's super creepy. I don't think anyone's ever wanted to hear a song about a guy who loves being in the friend zone. I feel like this is the song that would be written by the guy who tries to comfort you after the breakup just so he can try and shoot his shot. He broke your heart, huh? What a dick. If only there was a shoulder for you to kiss on. I mean, cry on. You know he didn't deserve you, right? He barely even knew you. Ugh, and I swear to God, if I see him one day... <sighs> it just makes me so mad. He just doesn't get you. You know what they say, you should fall in love with your best friend. Someone who really gets you and understands you. Is this happening right now? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I misunderstood things, I'm sorry. Okay, yes, I get it. You see me like a brother, whatever. I don't know, maybe like one day it could be like, I could be like kind of like the type of brother that like you make out with and fuck. What? They do it in Florida all the time. I don't know, this song just gives me the creeps. Like, what's the song title for this song? I'm a nice guy. Where's my hug? And I don't want this night to end. We took his pair and Chevrolet. Never cared what people say. We drove the mountain roads. Don't you love those crazy days? We stayed out all night like it was destiny. I don't know. 
Oh, okay. Just a little snippet. Just a little taste. You don't even get to hear the full chorus. I didn't write it yet. Took our parents Chevrolet. Yeah, dude. Maybe that's corporate though, right? Chevrolet? Product placement? I feel like that song though is like, it almost sounds like it's self-aware AI. Like if AI was trying to pull a prank on us. I made good music. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my God, my hat's still backwards. Like, I can't tell if this guy is doing a joke or doing, like, a character. I can never, like, really understand who's doing a bit and who's not. Thank you, counterculture. Yeah, remind me to never do anything ironic again. You do know that I have trouble understanding tone sometimes, right? I'm constantly doing that bit, even though I don't actually talk like that, but now it's becoming an inner part of myself. Bruh. But I don't know, I feel like this guy's for real, right? I feel like he's putting his heart and soul into this music. Also, shout out to the undercut. Dude, I used to rock that haircut. Oh, yeah. I used to rock that haircut a lot. No wonder I went bald. Dude, I was doing hair wrong for a long time. I feel like though, like maybe this is the problem with showing your early work. Like because of the internet, it's so easy to just post anything and maybe it's not ready yet. Maybe it's not fine tuned. Maybe it's not time to post your first song you ever wrote. You know, we could be looking at the next Mozart, but we're already disinterested because the early work sucks. That's fine if the early work sucks, right? You know, I'm positive that Mozart and Bach, they all had songs talking about their parents Chevrolet and Polaroid pictures but they didn't have the tools to post that shit they just wrote that song and threw it away and I'm sure there's gonna be people in the comments being like Jacob Jacob how dare you how could you judge people like this okay then you support them then then you listen to these songs every day then how about then how about this becomes your favorite artist no you go buy the merch you listen to this song every day and come back to me sometimes we gotta know when our stuff isn't that good. Don't worry, you guys tell me all the time. Have you ever been to a supermarket before school? Kids with their mouths open full of drool. Hey there, the professor. Hey kids, are we loading up on sugar? Yeah. Hey, to be your teacher, confiscating all this junk. What? Do we keep our stuff? No. And the chorus goes. Can I get from a central? Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. Whoa, we. <laughs> yeah, the professor, huh? Okay, never mind. Every song in here is the best song ever written. That's unreal. Dude, the Joker filter? That's the type of rap that's written by the kid at school who calls his mom a bitch. Also, I love that he's like rapping about sugar, but he's evil. I'm twisted, man. I'm twisted. I see the world differently. We gotta stop eating sugar. That was the Joker's point the whole time. He didn't want to see the world burn. He just wanted to see kids burn calories. I feel bad goofing on this stuff a little bit, right? We all do it. We all go on Instagram. We all have our group chats with our friends and we all send these videos to each other and we go, what the fuck is that? And I know you all send it to each other and for a second you feel like a bad person, but you want to make someone laugh. And you know what? Be mid, be mediocre. You don't need to write the best song of the summer. You don't need to be the best musician in the world. Do that, follow your dream. Look at me, I'm doing it and I'm doing it just okay. You don't need musical training. You don't need to be a good lyricist. Heck, it seems like you don't even need to know what music is. If you want to be a famous musician, go for it. All you have to do is try. And the next time you see something on the For You page, next time you think that maybe it's fucked up that you're laughing at it, send it my way. I'll laugh with you. Don't worry. We're all bad people. And you know you really found a good one when the ratio isn't the likes versus comments, it's likes versus how many times it was sent to another person. Instagram literally created a button to be like, let's talk behind their back. Alrighty guys, that's the end of the video. Nothing too crazy here. Just a few songs that I thought were kind of silly and goofy, and I thought we could all share a little laugh. Cause remember, not everything has to be that good. I actually might be the king of mid. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for a lifetime supply of nuggets. Because when you subscribe to my channel, you're guaranteed a lifetime supply of of nuggets. Alrighty guys, I gotta get out of here because I gotta go steal my parents' Chevrolet with my gal pal. She likes taking Polaroid pictures, if you know what I mean. Okay, bye!